Now to a CBS 4 News Health Alert. The CDC is alerting doctors and public health departments after multiple states have reported cases of a type of virus that can cause life-threatening disease in infants and babies. CBS 4's Erin Edwards has a story of two Connecticut parents who lost their child and want to help other families. There is no website. The Delanceys welcomed their second child, Ronan, in May. About a week later, something wasn't right. He was fussier, he wasn't eating quite as well, um, and he had some redness on his chest. They took him to the pediatrician who sent them home. That night, they went to the emergency room. As soon as I walked into the hospital, he stopped breathing. Then Ronan started having seizures. The family says doctors couldn't figure out what was going on. Four days later, he was diagnosed with parechovirus. It's extremely rare to find but it might not be that rare because they don't ever really look for it. Parechoviruses are common in children and typically cause mild cold-like symptoms. But infants under three months may have serious, possibly fatal infections, according to the CDC. Ronan had severe swelling and tissue damage in his brain. Going from like the best days of our lives to, you know, having our child die in our arms. The CDC recently issued this alert with doctors in multiple states reporting cases in infants. It can look like the child has what we call sepsis, which is a very severe infection, and it can also be associated with meningitis, which is basically an inflammation of the lining that surrounds the brain. The CDC encourages doctors to look for the virus in babies presenting with those symptoms. There is no antiviral treatment. Patients receive supportive care. Rehydration, uh, putting them on medication to suppress seizures, and giving them other forms of supportive measures that can help them while their body clears the virus. I want Ronan to have a leg legacy. I don't want another family to go through this. Ronan's parents hope sharing their story will lead to more testing for this virus. Aaron Edwards, CBS News, Hamden, Connecticut. Mm, so sad. And preventing parechovirus is like any other virus. Doctors say it's critical to practice good hand hygiene and stay away from anyone who is not feeling well. They also recommend limiting the number of visitors for newborns.